This tutorial is going to give a brief rundown as to how to export a model and then view it in virtual reality in VR. So let's get to it. This was a model that was prepared in my last video. You can always go back and look for that and follow those instructions. They're generally for a beginner, so you may need to fast forward if you feel like you're more advanced in your skill set. Here we're going to look to export. So this is ready to go with textures, colors, and a decent shape. I want to choose the folder, file operations, you can see it says. And in here we want to go export. Now if you have a SketchUp for Schools account, in the export menu you're going to see these have a cloud next to them. If you don't have a Schools account, you're going to see a lock next to these. You can't use these functions. These are the ones that export to various other 3D programs as well as bring along the textures, the colors and whatnot. If you don't have, just use XSTL and download that and be ready with that file. Uh, we'll use that soon. In the virtual reality program it will just show everything as white with some shading and things like that. It'll work out, it's just not going to look quite as nice. In the export menu then I'm going to choose KMZ. I've tried all these other ones and they all seem to have some troubles Getting the settings right is kind of tricky, but I found that KMZ works every time, at least the last while it has, so when this video is viewed in the future it may not work, uh, but for now it's working. So I'm going to choose KMZ. When I click on that, it sends it to the cloud for processing, so go. I'm not going to choose any of these options. I don't need those, and I can just choose to export. And it's going to send the model out, starting conversion. And now it's been started, but it's not ready for me to download yet. It will show up at the top here, or I can choose in this menu, Imports and Exports, and you can see that I've exported quite a few things doing some testing today. This one currently is in progress, and I'll be able to download it soon. So I'm going to head back. When you're ready to go, you'll see this green thing show up, and you can hit Download. It's going to choose to download that file. Make sure you put it in some space that you can find it easily. I'm just going to download it into here. I know where I've saved the file, so now I can find it when I need to. And that's all we need to do with SketchUp. Now it's time to head over to SketchFab. So I'm going to go to that window. And here we go. Now I've typed in SketchFab.com. You can see up in the top here, SketchFab.com. And you're going to end up at this site here, looking for, well, they want you to see, do you, have a, do you want to look for a model, or what are you trying to do? Top right-hand corner, you can sign up if you don't have an account. You can use your Google account, so you can log in. And here, you can choose to then log in. So I'm going to choose to log in with Google. And I can get rid of this. Oh, yeah, it worked for me. No, it didn't work. So I'm going to log in. Oh yeah, it did work, it's just really slow. So here we go, I'm going to choose my account. And so, I guess patience is the name of the game with the login and sign up experience. Alright, so once you get to this screen, so you may have to pause this video until you can get here. So again, we can search, do lots of things, but I want to upload that model that we just downloaded. So the upload's up here, click on that drag and drop or browse your computer. I'm not sure which way you have it set up on your machine. I'm going to browse really quickly because I know where this is. It's in my downloads folder, I believe. And uh, I'm just going to choose to sort it by date. Grab that simple maze and then I'm going to continue. At this screen it's uploading and processing. Now, this takes a while, depending on the complexity of your model. It can be quick and it could be take a very long time if you have a very detailed model. So it's really up to you. In the title, Simple Maze, I try to make it searchable. So I'll put Simple Maze and I might call it uh, for VR. I need to know what it is. Categories or tags. I might tag this with my school, so AVS. Uh, feel free to tag it with whatever you're interested in. You can also choose some categories. Uh, 
I'm not going to worry about this too much because it's not something that I think is that important. I don't need to be able to find it. An important note, you only get one upload credit that you can keep and have it sort of as a private file. If you want to use this for many things, you have to make them public for everyone to use for free. So that's sort of a choice that you're going to have to make. Um, don't upload things that have any personal information in them. That's sort of a standard rule. So download free. I'm going to save this so that all these things that I've changed now are saved with my model. Uh, depending on the model again, and depends on the load of their server as well, the processing can take a short time or it can take a long time. Um, I like using the CC, the Creative Commons license. Um, feel free to change that if you want as well. The video has now been processed. It's ready to go. So I'm going to go edit 3D settings. And here we just have a few things to make sure. The lighting should be fine. If we are working with an object that has interior lighting, you're going to have to play around with this lighting menu. Um, but for now, I'm holding down the left mouse button here to do the rotating. Every program's a little different. I think the middle mouse wheel here slides it, does the panning, and the right mouse, mouse wheel pans as well, so I don't know. It's fine. Let's do some changes, the ones that we need. Those are the VR settings, which are over in this far menu, just a second from the end. Uh, you can see my fellow is a little large, and so um, I did have my units in meters. So I can set to use one unit equals one meter, and that's wrong. I think I left it in imperial, so I'll have to make this a 30 then. That's If you do the math, it works out. Um, and then I'll bring this guy over by grabbing the different arrows. So I'll we'll just move the character over. I remember using left arrow, left button to rotate, um, right or middle mouse wheel to move. Uh, if I want to get him nice and flat up on this ground here, I can pull him up so he's above it, and the program tells me, oh, he's floating in the air, this is going to be weird for people. So I can just hit move to the floor, and it does bring him down to the next available surface, so that's kind of helpful. And now you can see the characters kind of ready to go. I can use the the blue rotation to sort of arc there to turn this character if I wanted to, but I'll just leave the character forward. And that's really all I need to do to get this ready. So I can hit Save Settings in the top right. I can hit Publish. Once it's been published, um, I'm going to say, go, got it, go see my model. But I actually want to do Edit Properties. Uh, in here, once it's published, then you can say download for free in my previous instructions. I said set it then and save it, but it doesn't save until you actually have published it and then save it. And now I don't have to have that count against my maximum credit of, down, of, of um, models that I can have. So free and then save, and then I can go uh, and view this. So I can head back up in the top left here. So it's just getting a few things ready, and now it's it's ready to be viewed in VR. Now, on my computer, I can zoom in and out and kind of view it if I wanted to get all the way down to here, and I can kind of zoom in here. It's really hard in a browser to do any of this. What's ideal is if you have a Google Cardboard, you can go into View in VR, or if you have uh, any of those VR viewers, if you have an Oculus Go or a Riff, if you have um, HTC Vive, any of those devices will allow you to go and view these in VR. So um, when I click on that, you will see it show up and then you can move around by tapping on the screen. It's different for each one, but um, yeah, from here I really can't show you a whole lot because the model is ready. So if I wanted to search for it, if I went into my phone, I might need to type in um, to remember what I did, or I can type in my username, but I could type in maze and AVS and go search, and I'm going to see a lot of things show up because I've already created lots of mazes. But you can see simple maze for VR. I could have typed in, in that there, and that would have given me this as well. Then I can choose that item when I'm in my headset and 
go view it in in VR. So um, maybe I'll try to post a video of that. Um, what it looks like on the phone a little bit later. All right. So that's how you do it. That gets you into here and gets it ready for viewing in VR. Uh, and then you just need to know how to navigate your VR viewer. So when I look at this, I go into the Chrome browser on my phone. Um, navigate to sketchfab.com. Search for the correct title for my maze. And then choose that one. Once I have it loaded, I can click on this VR button and then I can start viewing it with a VR viewer of some sort, whether it's a cardboard or something else. All right, hope that was helpful.